so welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, layout and sort of the different layout options that you have in Flourish and adding things like headers and footers. Um, so the main thing to know is that every Flourish template has basically the same layout settings. Um, they're usually these bottom three settings here, layout, header, and footer. And almost every single template has the same ones. There's only one, I believe, that doesn't actually have this layout option. Um, but they're basically in every template. So all of them um, allow you to change the font. So that's the first setting here. Um, the default font is always uh, Source Sans Pro, but you can change it to, you know, a nice serif font or some weird cursive looking font. Um, and there are other options in this layout setting. Um, so you can turn the background color to something else. You can actually um, add an image as a background as well. And there's some options about filling and fitting. And then there's also this layout order option, but I'm going to show you headers and footers first because it'll make this make a bit more sense. So header and footer kind of work as you normally think they would. Um, there's a, in header, there's a title, subtitle, and text, so like text below the subtitle options. So in this case, I'm going to add a footer like, hello, I am a bar chart race. This is our nice new bar chart race template. Watch it go. Um, and a silly little subtitle as well. This really is a bar chart race. Um, and each of these is also stylable, so you can change the color of these as well. You can change the size, you can make it bigger. Um, and then back in this layout tab, you also have a couple of different options for how the chart itself is laid out. So I chose the bar chart race because it has this control option, which um, is something you can move around with the layout order setting. So this is the main one where everything's kind of at the top, but you can also change it so the uh, header and the control, this replay button is at the bottom, or at both at the bottom. You can change it so the controls at the bottom, the head, uh, the headers at the top, or the opposite. Um, you can also change the sort of amount of space in between these sections. Um, you can also change the alignment of the header and the control, things like that. And then there's also footer options as well where you can add a source name. So I'm not exactly sure where this data is from, but source bank, a world bank, and then some URL and that actually becomes clickable. Um, there's also some note, you can add notes at the bottom as well. And you can change the alignment of that. And then for paying customers um, and newsrooms, we also allow them to upload their logo to the bottom right corner. Or, well, bottom right is the default, but you can also put it in the left corner um, and you can change the alignment on that as well. 